Okay, so you want to split data into separate worksheets based on values in a specified column. The solution I'm looking at here uses a VBA macro, and that macro is available via a link in the description of this video. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how the macro works, and then I'll talk you through the VBA code. So I've created a button on the data tab of my ribbon to run this macro. I've called the button split data. So it doesn't matter where I am in my worksheet, I just click on this button. And the first thing the macro does is display to the end user an input box. And this input box is asking for the range of cells that you want to split your data by. So in other words, the column that contains the values you want to base the split on. So for this split, I'm going to select the branch column and it says do not include the column heading. So I'll click in the first branch value there, control shift down arrow key, and then I'll click on OK. And then it says select the headings you want to appear on each worksheet. So control home on my keyboard, and then I'll select these headings, click on OK. So depending on the size of your data set, it may take a little bit of time to work through all the rows in your data. But you can see what it's done down here. I now have a sheet for each of the branches with the relevant records within that sheet. Okay, so let's see the macro that I've created for this particular task. You need to show the developer tab on your ribbon. If you can't see it, just right click on one of the other tabs, go to customize the ribbon and make sure developer is ticked there. And then on the developer tab, click on the visual basic button. Alternatively, use this shortcut key, Alt F11. So if you can't see this Project Explorer on the left of your screen, go to view, Project Explorer. And then the macro is within module one of this project. And you can see the code for that macro here. What you could do is just copy and paste this macro into the workbook that you want to split the data in. You will need a module for it. And if you don't know how to create modules, it's very simple, just go to insert module and then copy the code in my module, select it all with control A and then control C to copy and paste it into your module. Just get rid of that module because I don't need it. So if you're interested, I'll walk you through this code so you know how it works. I've called the macro split data these lines here specify the variables I'm going to use in the macro. Variables are little storage areas that we can use later on in our code. So my first variable is called split field, and that's the column the end user will select to base the split on. So the first input box that appears stores the range that the user selects within this variable. And you can actually see that down here. This is the input box that's first shown when we run the macro. And then I also get the user to select the headings. So this is what this variable is used for. And the headings variable gets its range from this input box, which asks the end user to select the headings in their data. Now with split item, essentially what I've got to do is I've got to go through each value within the column the end user has selected. So split item is the current value the code is looking at. New worksheet is a variable we're using when we create new worksheets for new items that are found in the column that the user selects. WS refers to all the worksheets in the current workbook. Now WS exists. So at some point in the code, I need to work out whether a sheet already exists for the split item the code is currently looking at. So do I already have a sheet for a given branch, for example? So WS exists stores a true or false value. Split WS is the active worksheet, the worksheet that contains the data that you need to split. Okay, let's move on to the rest of the code. So as you've seen, the first thing the macro does is ask the end user to select the column that they want to base the split on, and then they're asked to select the headings that they want to appear at the top of each sheet. Then I turn screen updating off. That just makes the macro a little bit quicker. 
And then I'm starting a for each next loop. Now this for each next loop is all this code here. So for each split item, so for each value within the column the end user has selected, so split field, I need to check whether a worksheet already exists for that value. And if you remember earlier on, we created a variable called worksheet exists, which stores true and false. True if the worksheet already exists, false if it doesn't. Then if the worksheet does exist, all I need to do is copy that particular row and place it one row down from any existing rows in that sheet. If the worksheet doesn't exist, I need to create a new worksheet, name the worksheet using the current value, so the current value stored in the split item variable, so the name of the particular branch in the example I've given you. Then I need to copy the headings from the original sheet to this new sheet, and then copy the current row into this new sheet. So that code is basically repeated for each split item, so each value in the column that the end user has selected. Then just to tidy things up, it goes through each sheet and auto fits the columns and then turns application screen updating back on. So there's a bit of error handling down here. And this basically just exits the sub procedure if the end user presses cancel in either of these input boxes. So I'll close this down and I'll show you how I created the button on my ribbon. All you need to do is just right click on one of the tabs on your ribbon, go to customize the ribbon. And then I created the button in the data tab. And the first thing I did was create a new group. So I'll do this again. Let's just get rid of what I've currently got in there. So you select the tab that you want to put the macros in, then you've got to create a new group. So then rename that group. So for argument's sake, I called this my macros. Then over on the left here, where it says popular commands, and that drop down this select macros, then look for the split data macro and add it. And then you can go to rename again and select an icon for the macro. So I selected that one. I can put a space in there, click on OK, click on OK. So I'll get rid of these sheets that the macro created earlier on. And this time we we'll split the data by customer type. So I go to the data tab over here to split data, select the column you want to split your data by. So I select the first customer type, control shift down arrow key, click on OK. Control home to get back to the top of the sheet. Select the column headings, click on OK. So you might have to wait a while for the macro to actually stop what it's doing. But once it has, you'll be able to select the individual sheets and you can see it split the data successfully. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.